I'm John Buchanan, and welcome to Fader Pro's Science of Sound course on volume management. On this course, we're gonna lift the lid on volume. It starts out as a really simple concept. Loud is more, quiet is less. But we soon learn that volume can be much more complicated if we want it to be. We're going to break apart the term signal flow to begin to understand that volume can be added, changed, and in some way processed at almost every stage of the production process. We're going to understand exactly how volume is measured in terms of peak, RMS, and loudness metering. We're going to have a look at what it means these days to get music ready for streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music, and to understand what we need to do in order to prepare our music for those platforms. On this course, one of the concepts we're going to look at the most is the idea of gain and how much that matters when we're making recordings. If we turn gain up too high, we're going to bake digital distortion into our recordings, which is going to sound horrible. Similarly, if we record too quietly, we're going to have to turn levels up too much once they've been recorded. So understanding what gain is and how we can absolutely match it to what we need it to be within our recordings is one thing we're really going to look at on this course. Mixing is a bit like storytelling. We need to know which character we're following at any given moment. And volume gives us a chance to do that. We can drop volumes away, letting other mix elements come through. And other times we can push sounds right to the foreground to make sure that our audiences are hearing those first and foremost. Volume is one of those subjects we think we just understand. And yet, what we're gonna do on this course is to look at all of the tools which are going to allow us to manage it. There are so many ways in which we can control and manage volume, and all of them offer creative, exciting opportunities. <laughs>